We are brought into this life knowing nothing and yet with everything inside contained for to make this unique, profound, complicated and revealing journey an interesting one. It has come to my understanding while in meditation that, this journey is one because we are created for the sake of not only living, but expanding towards something we hope exist in for the betterment of our souls because of the trials of this present journey and its multiple ventures, its multiple complications and its multiple rewards of liberation from having to live consistently within a state of misery and isolation. The journey can only be firstly understood as one of an interest because it is felt as new and mysterious. It has no other burden imbued inside of it outside of it being sacred and thus, not self-revealing at the discretion of the interested. This is a journey plagued with a measure of time as it becomes more misunderstood when we live for a while and make accusations of what it is based upon our own personal desires and ideas or an established doctrine asserting to objectively identify this journey in its wholeness as what the formula and theology of prophesy asserts. For this is the reason of why religious doctrine serves as the most dangerous weapon against the human family to realize. As an atomic bomb being descended upon a nation of people blowing them apart, so does the effects of religion possess this same destructive potentiality upon the mind of the host, shattering the mind into pieces of fictitious monotony giving death to the intellect. I often ponder of the imputation of this journey having to be at times such a troubling predicament to fix what has been said to be broken of a species as ourselves, before we existed. It implies that we were damned condemned before we started by others before us, as this is called, justice. But, at some point in living one stopped asking, what has transpired before for this to be made a necessary formula for resolve. We are all a part of the same universal consciousness and yet have been made a fragmented state of being by way of being made contained into the flesh. We have to suffer and tolerate clashing personalities and suffer the effects of the flaws of one another because of being hurt of one another while too many human beings are left alive with the heart and mind for understanding that the whole of humanity is in need of a healing, while some are in a comfort zone while hurting hurting others and are uncertain of letting go of the wounds for the sake of healing, and yet hurting because of the wanting to let go for the sake of healing. A complex journey isn't it? It seems as such. It is made complicated for the point of learning. It is as something was made tangled and those who are created to venture into it are those who are responsible for untangling. An interesting problem created for the interested to resolve. One finds themselves after being conditioned of utilizing the mind and its gift of observation and formulation to be filled with a continuing interest to learn more of in fact what this living phenomenon is in its entirely. The God or living conscious force which saw it necessary to create and manifest this reality we are living in should be honored to see that very little of us are in fact participating in trying to locate the primary reasoning for being present. It should be honored because it designed it as such. It, the primary IT should in no mistake perceive this because of intentionally creating a human being outside of itself, however limited because of being an extension of its origin. This one greater than its creation, God. The time has come as before, as the human family struggle to understand the complexes of living and its joys, its fears, its death and living, a time of which we are going to be made to end our hurting of one another so that we can take the time to love ourselves collectively for the sake of the human race remaining here upon the earth. One cannot possibly love themselves while causing hurt in others. This is not a possibility. The earth was present before we were here and mother earth will remain here, living and turning with life intelligence after we have either destroyed ourselves with our own hatred and lack of taking the time to heal ourselves so that we are able to help heal one another. We have to understand that we are hurting and of how we accumulated these hurts and of how to allow ourselves the time for the healing, for the healing of the society. As with all of what we suffer, tolerate, the storm we share and create for one another as well as the joys and happiness, the most vital reality is to remain as what we were created, and that is to stay human beings. 
stay human beings and not of which we have been made to embody through this wicked political and religious formula which has mutated us outside of our true selves and have set us against the very core of why we are here as human beings precisely. It in turn has contaminated humanity itself. If our reasoning for being here was in fact war, then this would have ended a long time ago. But, the state of tolerance in the world this day reveals that despite this society being made fragmented by religion, politics, race and gender, there is room for a resolve. There is room for a healing for those whom desire it in fact. This all depends upon our will to live in peace, to live in a complex world or in complete chaos as we are going at this present moment. Stay human. It is what we are made for. David Anthony Bray.